Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Benito and this is tutorial number 19. In this tutorial, as promised, I'll be showing you how to loop through a table of data and delete certain rows if a condition is met. Um, this tutorial is going to be slightly longer than 10 minutes because it involves uh, a couple of steps and um, it takes some time to explain them clearly. So I'll try my best to explain them as well as possible and if you do have any questions at the end then please feel free to leave a comment. So in the previous tutorial I showed you that we can type in, read in some data and we can type in a number, row number and delete that row. So in this tutorial what I'm going to show you is we can type in a row, uh, an age and if we click on filter age then it will remove everyone uh, with an age above 23. So to do this we need to loop through the table and check uh, the age in each row. So the only difference is I've added in a filter age button and a new min age button. Okay, So we'll right click on the filter age button and create a callback. And we'll start by saying setting um, filter age is equal to the value inside uh, app app dot min age edit field dot value. Make sure the V is capital. Um, so now what we can do is we can uh, loop through the data so to do this we need to create a for loop so we'll say for i equals 1 to length uh, to the length of uh, the table which means the number of rows so we'll say num rows which we'll calculate later on and um, so I'll be going back and forth to explain things in a logical order so we'll define number of rows above the for loop um, after I show you the next step so if uh, so what we'll do is for i equals 1 to the number of rows will say if app.ui table dot data and then what we're doing here is we're checking each row so that's i and column 2 because in column 2 is where all the age is defined so we'll check row 1 so for i equals 1 to a number of rows I will say when i equals 1 we'll check row 1 column 2 when i equals 2 we'll check row 2 column 2 and if this is greater than uh, filter age so this filter age will just for example we'll say it's 23 that we've entered into the edit field if it's greater than 23 then I want to remove that row so app dot UI table dot data and then this time it's parentheses curve brackets because you want to uh, delete a row not a cell so row i and all the columns which should be equal to square brackets and that means we'll remove those now we want to define the number of rows so to find the number of rows what we can do is use a function in MATLAB called size so we'll say num rows is equal to size brackets app dot t and then comma one. And the reason why we use comma one is because I'll quickly show you. So if we have a matrix uh, with one row and three columns, and if we do size a, then we get the number of rows in the first element and uh, number of columns in the in the second element so we want to just uh, find the number of rows so if we do a comma one then it will just give, give us the number of rows and that's the reason why we're using uh, comma one okay so now if we try to run this we'll see what MATLAB tells us to fix so let's say I want to remove everyone above the age of 23. Then you click on filter age and MATLAB is saying row index exceeds table dimensions. And the reason for this is when we run the for loop or when we run the code, what's happening is, so if we say 23, 
So, so the for loop starts with i equals 1. So when i equals 1, you come to row 1, column 2, and it's checking is row 1, row 1, column 2, greater than filter age, which is 23. It is. So if it is, we're saying delete it. So we deleted it. Now the problem is we've only got four rows, but we're telling MATLAB and when the code comes comes to the end and then comes back up again, we've defined num rows as five. So we're telling MATLAB there's five rows, but in reality there's actually only four rows now because we deleted the first one. And the second time, so that so MATLAB gets confused there, and again, you know, we delete this and then we've only got three rows now. So MATLAB's getting really confused there. So we need to tell MATLAB that, you know, when we deleted the row, um, uh, the number of rows changes or we can do it in a different way what we can do and what we're going to do is every time you find a row with an age greater than 23 or the age inside this edit field we'll write down the row number and store it into another row vector and at the end we'll have a row vector containing all the row number which contains the ages greater than 23 and then we'll delete it all together. So that's a good way of doing things. So to do this, what we have to do is create a row vector to fill in the row numbers with the ages greater than 23. So we'll delete this for now. And inside the if statement, what we'll say is if row i um, column 2 age is greater than the filter age, then we'll store the row number into a row vector. So we'll say delete rows, delete rows, or let's say rows to delete is equal to i. But then to create a row vector, because this is a for loop, we want a row of one and we want to add a column every time you detect an age with that is greater than 23. So we have to create a new um, variable which is k and what we will do is every time you detect a age that is greater than 23 we want to update k we want to say k becomes k plus 1. And what this means is, so the next time we come to the for loop, um, k is greater than the previous value. And we also have to initialize k. So when the for loop runs first time, it doesn't know what the value of k is. And the value of k for the first run should be 1 because we want it to be because we want it to be in column one, row one, column one. So the rows to delete, what that's essentially doing is, right. So what the delete rows is doing is, so when we read in the data, we'll say rows to delete, rows to delete, uh, row 1, k, and then what we're doing is, so when the for loop comes to 27, it will save row 1, and then um, in the next iteration, because we've updated this k to k plus 1, it will create a new element in the second column, because k is 2 now. So then it stores row 2 because Firmino is greater than uh, Firmino's age is greater than 26, 23 and then we uh, do another k plus 1 so k becomes 3 now and if the age is greater than 23 again so it's not here so it moves to the next one and it, it's greater than 23 again so that is row 4 so because k is 3 we have 4 in the third column of this row vector. So that's what this rows to delete uh, row vector is doing. So let's get back to App Designer again. 
So I hope I was able to explain that well. But if you still have any questions, let me know because this is quite difficult to um, understand straight away if you're new to MATLAB and if you don't have a good understanding of uh, you know for loops and if statements. But that's fine. So what we can do now is simply say at the end of collecting all the rows that we want to delete, we can say app dot ui table dot data and in parentheses instead of saying what row individually we can say we have a row vector containing all the rows so we can simply say rows to delete comma colon should be equal to empty so what this is doing is it's actually feeding in the row vector which is one two and four I believe so this rows to delete um, MATLAB allows us to you know um, put in a row vector in the row um, before the comma which indicates the rows so you can put in multiple rows um, instead of one row for example which was what we did in the previous tutorial so this MATLAB will essentially delete row one, row two, and row four. And that makes uh, coding in MATLAB so much easier because you can just simply say, delete all these rows at once in one line instead of repeating it again and again. So let's try and run this now and hopefully this should work as expected. So we read in the data and we say I want to remove everyone greater than 23 so we should be we should only have Trend and James left so if we do filter age okay we've missed out a A here so let's run again we'll read in the data And we'll do 23 and you can see we just have James and Trent left so what MATLAB is doing is just to explain again it's looping through so for I equals 1 it's saying if the age is greater than the filter age which it is then I want to add row I which is 1 row 1 to this row vector then I want to update the K so then K is what defines um, where the I goes in terms of columns so K now becomes 2 and then I go to the next iteration which is I equals 2 so if row 2 column 2 age is greater than filter age then I add that value to row 1 column 2 in rows to delete vector row vector and then because it's still within that if statement and because that condition was met we'll update the k again and we update the k again and we come to i equals 3 and that's trend and is the age greater than 23 no it's not so we completely skip this and go to the next iteration which is 4 and it checks again is it greater than 23 it is so this time we come inside the for loop and do this calculation which is um, row, we add i which is 4 to the third column in the rows to delete and we come back again and we check again for James and is it greater than 23 no but because it's actually equal to 23 so if you want to delete let's say greater than or equal to then you can just put an equal or you can do less than if you want or it's up to you so if we do greater than equal to what we'll what we should see is that uh, trend uh, James should go as well so if we do 23 then you can see James has gone as well because it's checking if it's equal to 23 as well so I hope I was able to explain that reasonably well guys and um, I hope you've learned something new there as well. 
Um, if, you're, if you are finding my tutorials helpful, please do share it with your friends and colleagues. And please give me some feedback on how to improve because I really want to fine tune it to um, your needs uh, and you know make tutorials that people are actually you know stuck with. So I'd really appreciate it if you could leave some comments or feedbacks on my discussions page or just on my videos. And please do leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.